यूनिट स्टेप और हेवीसाइड फंक्शन इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम हेलो फ्यूचर इंजीनियर्स एंड माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू मुदसर एकेडमी आई एम मुदसर शेख टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन लैपलेस ट्रांसफॉर्म दैट इज द यूनिट स्टेप फंक्शन आल्सो नोन एज द हेवीसाइड फंक्शन दिस टॉपिक इज एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर एग्जाम्स इनफैक्ट सिक्स टू सेवन मार्क्स क्वेश्चन इज गारंटीड फ्रॉम दिस कॉन्सेप्ट I know the textbook makes the topic feel complicated and confusing, but you don't worry. I am going to show you a very, very easy and brain-friendly method that will stick in your brains for ever. No shortcuts, just smart concepts, crystal clear explanation, and guaranteed exam confidence. So stay with me till the end, and please don't skip. If you follow the method I show, you'll get full marks in the examination without any stress. and as many of you know i am undergoing cancer treatment and i i honestly don't know how much time i left my only wish is to share my entire knowledge with you as much as i can while i still can so please watch till the end and share it with your friends and classmates as much as possible and help spread my knowledge far and wide and if you are new to this channel don't forget to like share and subscribe not just for me but for the students out there who need this enough said now just let's get level size with unit step function so let's understand what actually is unit step or the heavy size function see u means capital u means unit step and capital h means heavy side okay that means in the problem if they ask unit step You write U, and if they mention heavy side, you write H. That's it. So let's define the unit step function now. So we'll define the unit step function as U of t minus a equals zero t lesser than equal to a and one t is greater than a, where a is a constant okay so what is the definition now u of t minus c is equal to 0 if t lesser equal to a and 1 if t is greater than a what does it means see you in a step unit means one so here one means on zero means off zero is off one is on switch let me see see if t is lesser than equal to a there is initially off position then if t exceeds a certain value greater than a it becomes on that's it. that's what a unit step function does so in a very 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 simple way in a very simple way unit step function is like a mathematical switch that turns on at a specific time that's it hope it's clear so now let's understand the laplace of these unit step functions so you have basically two properties the first one is laplace of u of t minus a equals e raised to minus a s by s that means it's a very simple one basic one so as you know the unit step function is given by u of t minus a so laplace of u of t minus a is equal to e raised to minus a s by s that means c uh laplace of u of t minus 3 u of t minus 3 what is a3 so the answer will be e raised to minus 3 squared laplace of u of t minus say uh, 10 e is 10 what is the answer e raised to minus 10 squared that's it the second property is very very important as they ask this in the examination one question for 6 to 7 marks so the property says laplace of f of t minus a Into u of t minus a is equal to e raised to minus a s into f bar of s, where Laplace of f of t is nothing but we write it as f bar of s. Very very important property. So it looks complicated, but I'll show you how to solve this property, how to apply this property in a very very easy way. So that you can apply the same method to the problems given and easily get that six to seven marks. That's it. okay. So, so first I write it one second here. So Laplace of if the question is given like this, 
एफ ऑफ टी माइनस ए इंटू यू ऑफ टी माइनस ए फर्स्ट वॉट यू डू इज यू नो सी द क्वेश्चन इज यन जनरल यू दू लेफ नो सी टी माइनस से ओनली यू ऑफ टी माइनस से इज अ जनरल यूनिस्ट ऑफ फंक्शन यू नो यू ऑफ टी माइनस टू इज इक्वल माइनस टू इज प्लस वन बट दैट यू ऑफ टी माइनस ए इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाई एफ ऑफ टी माइनस ए दैट्स वॉट द सेकेंड प्रॉपर्टी इज सो मीन टू से इफ इन द क्वेश्चन दे गिव समथिंग मल्टीप्लाइड बाई यू ऑफ टी माइनस ए गेटिंग द पॉइंट हियर दैट मीन्स इज अ प्रॉपर्टी नंबर टू सो वॉट टू डू सिंपली यू नो फर्स्ट यू मेक u of t minus a equal to u of t. How? What to do? Whenever a question comes like this, into u of t something into u of t is minus a is there. Then you have to first make u of t minus a is equal to u of t. How? Simply replace what t by t plus a, which a this a. Getting it? So now replace t by t plus a. This becomes implies we get Laplace of f of t into u of t. Now, once you get this u of t, your solution is done. Simply don't take tension. Whatever is there here, no f of t. For this f of t, you find the Laplace. Find Laplace of f of t and multiply. Answer by e raised to minus e s. That's it. Understood. So it will be nothing but find the Laplace of f of t. That is Laplace of f of t and multiply by e raised to minus e s. That's finish. That's the property. Get it? Where f of Laplace f of t is nothing but f of s. That's as simple as that. I will explain you how this property works by using a simple problem. Then we will move to the higher level Cernak problems. Fine. So to understand how the second property of Laplace of a unit of function works, that is uh, Laplace of f of t minus a into u of t minus a is equal to e raised to minus a s into f bar s. Let's solve a simple problem. So let's take, uh, evaluate, or find. Laplace of, say, Laplace of t square plus four t plus five. Okay, into uh, u of t minus three. Now, this defines a unit step function. Why? Because see, u of t minus a, u of t minus a means it's a unit step function. Simple to understand. So what did it tell you? This is second property. You have f of t minus a to you have u of t minus a. See this. You see what? U of t minus a a is three. Here a is three. So what did it tell you? First, make u of t minus a equals to u of t. Keep in mind. Get it? First, make u of t minus a equal to u of t. How do I do it? Replace t by t plus a. So t plus three. Why a is three n? So the whole question. Let's replace all the t's by t plus three. So we have Laplace of t plus three the whole square plus four into t plus three plus five. Now when I replace here t plus three minus three becomes u of t. That's my main motto here. So let's simplify this now. So we have Laplace of t square plus sixty plus nine plus Forty plus twelve plus five into u of t. Am I right? A plus the whole square, a square plus b square plus two ab plus forty plus twelve and plus five. Again, simplify this. So this will become t square plus sixty plus forty is twenty plus nine plus twelve is twenty one twenty six into u of t. Am I right? Okay. Now. What did I tell you? After once once it is multiplied by u of t, you are done. Your answer is ready. What to do? Simply simplify the Laplace of f of t this function and multiply the answer by e raised to minus c s. That's it. As simple as that. So what to do? Any question is given, 
which has into e of t minus a, something into e of t minus a, that t minus a, find that a, and replace all the t's by t plus a to make this e of t. I replaced here. Once e of t is done, your answer is ready. Simply, whatever is here, see this, you find the Laplace of this. Okay, so you find the Laplace here. As you know, Laplace of t raised to n is n factorial divided by 60 n plus 1. So, Laplace t square is 2 by s cube plus 10 into Laplace of t raised to 1. t raised to n is n factorial divided by 60 n plus 1. t raised to n fact, t raised to 1 means 1 factorial by square. So, Laplace of t is a square plus constant. Laplace of constant is a by s. a is a by s. 26 is 26 by s. So, we have 26 by s. Now, this whole thing, whatever answer you get, multiply by e raised to minus a s. What is a here? 3. 3 s. That's it. So, this is the answer for it. That's all. Understood? So, I hope you understood the simple concept. So, now with this concept, we will apply this to solve the 7 marks examination questions. So, get ready for it. So, now let's solve this interesting and a very standard question here. This question has been repeatedly asked many times in the examination. Okay. It says, express the following function in terms of initial function and hence find the Laplace transform. Function is f of t is equal to 1 and the interval is t greater than 0 less than 1 and t interval is t greater than 1 and less than 1 equal to 2 and for t squared is t greater than 2. So, let's solve this in a very, very easy way. Okay. So, understand how we solve it now. So, first what they are asking, express the following function in terms of unit step. So, to write the unit step function, you are going to get marks and it's very, very easy. Just see how I do it. So, if, can you tell me how many steps are there here? Three steps, right? Zero, one and two. So, we have three steps here. One is zero, other is one and two. All right. Zero, one and two are the three steps. So, in terms of a unit step function, we write this as u of t minus 1 and this as u of t minus 2. Simple. So, we need to mention here, first you are asking as or in terms of unit step function. So, as unit step function, that means this whole thing, the integral thing should be written in terms of u's, u of t minus a, t minus so on. Okay. So, as unit step function, how to write it? So, we write f of t as equal to. So, how it works? See carefully. First function will be as it is. Okay. So, always any question, write as it is. Plus, now u of t minus 1, second step. Means, when you take the second step, the difference is t minus 1. Second minus first step. So, plus t minus 1 bracket into what's the step? u of t minus 1. Okay. Similarly, plus again the next step for u of t minus 2, t square minus t. This is so simple it is. t square minus t into u of t minus what's the step 2. That's it. I think it. So, as unit step function, how to write? Again, watch carefully. First, don't touch it as it is, whatever is given. Then, second minus first, and the step taken is initially 0, that's only 1, u of t minus 1. Then again, see so this can keep on changing it 1, 2, 2, it can be 2, 4, 6, 1. Okay. Now, next, third minus second, t square minus 2, the function change into what is the step taken? u of t minus 2. That's it. So simple. Now, for this, you need to find the Laplace transform. See this clearly. t minus 1, u of t minus 1, so on. It's nothing but property number 2. So, let's apply the Laplace here. So, this is my unit step function here. So, let me underline this. So, the unit step function is this one. Now, for this unit step function, we need to find the Laplace transform. So, I apply Laplace to it. So, L of f of t is equal to l of 1 plus l of t minus 1 into u of t minus 1 plus l of t square minus t into u of t minus t. 
Okay. Now, this will be Laplace of 1. I'll first simplify then write it. Laplace of 1 is 1 by S. I'll keep, I'll add later. Okay. This is, there is no property here. But second, see, this is which property? 2. F of t, b of t minus a. See here what is a? a is 1 here. a is 1. So, replace t by what? t plus 1. And see here, a is 2. So, replace t by what? t plus 2. That's it. So, let's replace it here now. So, this will be plus 1 plus. This would be la plus of t plus 1 minus 1 into u of t, t plus 1 minus u of t, and here again, plus, here, you are replacing t by what? t plus 2. So, t plus 2 the whole square, minus t plus 2, into again, t plus 2 minus 2, e of t. Now, you are done. Simply what? Simple technique. You have to find a, simplify and then find a Laplace. So, first let's simplify this. So, this will be again now, Laplace of 1, plus, La plus of t into u of t plus this will be la plus of again a plus b the whole square t squared plus 4t plus 4 uh, minus t minus 2 into u of t. So again we'll simplify one more time. So la plus of 1 plus la plus of t into u of t as it is plus la plus of now, this one will be what? Tell me. Simplify it now. So, t square plus 4t minus t, 3t. 4 minus 2, 2. N to u of t. Done. So, what does the property say? Wherever there is u of t minus a, that a replace t by t plus a, make it u of t. And when you simplify it, whatever that function is next to it, t and here t is equal to 3t plus 2, find the Laplace and multiply the answer by e raised to minus s, that's it. Okay, so this will be now 1 by s plus Laplace of t is 1 by s square into e raised to minus s. What is a here? E is 1, so minus 1 s plus again bracket t square, Laplace of t square is 2 by s cube. Why? Because Laplace of t raised to n is n factorial divided by s t n plus 1. So, Laplace of t square will be 2 factorial divided by s t 2 plus 1, 3. And 3t, three as you know, Laplace of t is 1 by s square plus 3 by s square plus Laplace of constant is a by s, 2 is 2 by s, into, what is a here? 2. So, into e raised to minus 2s. That's the answer. So, you will not find the solution more simpler than this in any video. So, please follow the steps what I am doing so that you get a full 6 to 7 mass guaranteed. So, the next very, very important problem which we are going to solve is on the board in front of you. But I won't be solving this problem in today's video. So, what I want you to do is refer this video what you are doing now. Understand the basics and please solve that question by yourself one more time. That is 1t t square. Okay. So, along with this problem, which is very, very important, exam part of you, I will be solving one more trigonometric based question, which is also equally important. So, then see you in the next video. Till then, happy learning. Bye.